Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. Duh, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings! Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. Oh boy. You watched your friend die. That's awful. Does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys.
far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. asking for me because because I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state-of-the-art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it I'm so sorry I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this Save your pity. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. <laughs> Eat yourself. You, uh, okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <clears throat> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nurm? I... <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. <clears throat> we will get Nurm back. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed, really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? over here by this uh it's a portal what the portal broken now like everything else 
Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not. I don't know. Not sure I buy it. <sighs> I see what you're doing. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are. But you're still fighting. Why? I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh great, just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Someone in trouble. 
trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. One nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Pork Chop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> so, uh, we friends now? Like we're gonna be hanging out for a while? Oh no! We've got a plan in mind, and it doesn't involve covering the behinds of a couple stragglers! Just look out for you and yours, okay? Be seeing ya, toodles! <laughs> One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here! Yeah, let's squeak Great, let's go. Jesse! Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... Uh, come on. Scavenger, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened. If... Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since. Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Jack, are you or are you not the, uh, raging storm of Choon? Is it Choon? Choonji Choonji Forest. Right. We don't need a sword. You are a weapon. Yeah, those scavs would have been terrified if they knew, right? <laughs> Horrified. Thanks, Jesse. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. 
careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Oh man, I love trivia. You do? Yes! It's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that! Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. You are... Wow, you are really cute! Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Serious fetch artist. Go get it. Fred like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know... I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done! Prompt like! I'm on a roll! And this one's almost finished! You got it. I don't have enough materials to make anything.
Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? The creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dreshnagel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day... That day, he shed a tear. That's uh, one way to gather information, I guess. Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though. Nice! Uh-huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. You know how Radar can get. He's just overreacting. He'll get over it. Eventually. I hope so. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. It's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Miss Changer, I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. I can definitely use these. moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Oh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. I hope so. 
No. You're right. We gotta believe in them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. One, two, and a half. Hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hoof. Weight resistance, you know? Oh, <laughs> baby, feel that burn. Feel it. I'm feeling it. Feel it. Time to make a painting. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I'm going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog! What are you- Oh no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse! 
Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. 
Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct. Jesse, well done. I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. No one will mind if I just... Brave new Enderman by Soren. Definitely not what I'm looking for, but man. Wow, I thought Soren only wrote reference books. Huh. Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him and didn't let him play their Enderman games. Foundation. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Ugh. 
community didn't seem to be as important to him. Whatever ideals that he'd had when he'd started, they'd shifted, rerouted. Something else had settled on his soul. Hmm. The rest is marked out. Yada, yada, yada. He faces his fear. Yeah, he's a brave new Enderman. this thing for a long time. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Whoa! Secret room! There's gotta be something down here. This one is called The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by The Chief. Interesting, but not really what I need. Another book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns, there's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well... before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. One and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. No, we didn't find the weapon. It's in a cabin where Fred, Zara, and Romeo hung out when they were friends. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? 
Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. Are you sure you want to give this up? I mean, if Fred gave it to you... I think he would have understood how much more you need it right now. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here, see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. <laughs> That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> come here. You. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with the What the?
Jesse? <clears throat> and you are? <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? I, if you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Sword time. Say your goodbyes, imposter. Well, if that's what you really think is best, it was nice to meet you, you strange masked man. Yes. Only the real Jesse would be so painfully earnest in such a dangerous situation. It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes, it is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. Ivor, he claimed he was a ninja master. Insane. A practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes! Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, Strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no! So awesome! But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain! You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, Taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja's senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? 
If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good, but what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Is that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet? Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! 
on it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh-huh. Oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> This is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Let's see what you found, Luna. Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing, Luna. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. 
Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to you. You know? Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch and yell. Please don't hit me. Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. You know, like one trillion out of ten! Yeah! It's the seventh. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? That was one day when I was like, Sue, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. Um, uh, uh, how about I call this one the, uh, the uh, golden apple? Yeah. Uh, huh. uh, I might just be hungry. armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens?
we're making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so... So maybe those three levers will stop it! Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Like an X. Stand 
on all four sides. Come on, craft, craft, craft! Over here! I'm supposed to light this thing. That might work. even keep asking. Deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? No, nope, nothing. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. waiting for you. All right. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. I wonder if Petra found something. it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh huh. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this, this story about puppies. Really. Sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. Beds don't go with the banners? This one's purple, very regal. Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay. Really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Observer block? What's it looking at? The beds? Always like the color blue. Something peaceful about it. for Zara. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Red bed. <laughs> kind of fun to say. to do with potato. That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato 451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. 
Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. As if you could force me to do anything. <laughs> Guess I should give you a little more credit. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right there with you, Petro. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Thank you. I always knew you were a big ol' softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Whoa, she did it. This is it then! Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason, to keep things away. We're still missing Jack, and this is how we get him back with us. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But... Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. 
I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse?
able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Mystery portals ever. I'm with the llama. Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood! This is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. Radar deserves to stand here, too. He's just as much a hero as the rest of us. He gave Bintus people the chance to escape and help us stop the admin. Jesse, we are... Endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is, until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye.
They said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas behind, but the seas came a-calling for me. It's a lonely road for a hero. The road is a bittersweet friend. For the road is cold and it's hollow, but it's all you'll have left in the end. Sure, there is glory in my tragic backstory, but that is not why I'm small. For nothing builds shoulders like regrets big as boulders, as sure as the grief takes its toll. so ripped or I'd been crushed from the start and I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart my friends faces they'll never leave me so I wrote them this sad serenade for the curse of a memory that's perfect is that those faces they'll never fade It's a lonely road for a hero, but I won't be alone at its end, for I will wait in the shallows until we meet again. Until we meet again. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 